Thank you, Don. I don't know if uh, if all of you knew, but I grew up in a construction family and uh, sort of uh, was groomed to, to uh, go into the business, so to speak. But uh, the model back when I was in school was to go to college. And uh, I did, and then returned back to the construction family and work uh, with the family for, uh, for a significant amount of time. Uh, but I'm here just to say just a few words about the model, that college-bound model in our education system that I think we really need to change. Uh, I'm a strong advocate of apprenticeship programs and training, and I feel that the model that our educators have uh, sort of had for a few, more than a few decades, is uh, needs to be tweaked a little bit. And what I mean by that is the, uh, I think our, the schools and our state department of education need to really focus in on helping our young students be aware of the construction trades. The, listen, all the business, all the business sectors need workers, all of us. But I think that we need to expose the kids to make them realize that you don't necessarily need to go to college. It may be a path for some, and but along the way, there are other businesses, including the construction trades, that they should be exposed to. You think about the work ethics that we learned at a very young age if you're exposed to the trades. I can't thank God enough for what my parents did to me with me and making sure at 14 years old, I was working with my dad and developing these work ethics. I think the parents need to be engaged. I think the Board of Education need to be sharing or encouraging parents and teach um, and, and sort of letting the kids know it's okay to go to work with your hands. You're probably gonna be better off down the road financially, but I think if we can start connecting our our parents, our grandparents, a lot of a lot of grandparents are raising grandchildren now, but if they can start that conversation at a younger age in the middle school, hey, it's okay. We you need to go to work, you know. And here's what you can do: you can go into the, be a plumber, you can be an electrician, you can work on a bulldozer or equipment. I think we are going to be building a much more solid uh, population more solid individuals with stronger character because of us sharing with our children at a younger age, hey, it's okay to work with your hands. It's really a great, great career. So uh, my, I guess my closing comments is if we could start working legislatively with our State Department of Education, helping them to connect the, the, the dots, so to speak, with our local school boards and our local school boards connecting with our schools and our schools keep talking with our parents, grandparents, and sharing the opportunities that the construction trade has. I, I think we'd be solidifying the future of our construction industry here in, in the state of Connecticut. So thank you.